All right, so now that we've learned about the head and about kind of you know, how things point and how we commit things, and we and we've understand kind of the commit chain process a little bit, let's actually dive into our development environment and, and study and find out where these things are and do some of these examples so we can learn how to do them and just kind of how they work. So first, uh, real quick, I want to show you how we can find out where our head points to. And before we even do that, a quick thing that we can do is called git log. Now git log is going to show us all the commits that we've made so far. So as you can see, this commit F735, blah, 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 um, that was our initial commit. So it shows the commit shocky, the author. Now remember, this is what we listed in our git config. So this is my name, JC Kelly, and my email there, the date that it was committed at, and the message. And then we just typed in initial commit. So this is going to show us all of the commits so far. We've only made one, so it's just going to show us this one. I want to go back and we're going to, you know, kind of twerk with the details of git log once we have a few more commits under our belt. But for now, just know git log is going to show you kind of all the commits you've made. Now, if we go into cat refs slash head slash master, that's going to show us the, the, the head of what our current head is at. Now, you notice the head here is the exact same as this commit. That's because currently our head points to this commit. This is our most recent commit that we've made, and this is to where our head points to. So when we commit something, it's going to be on top of this. It's going to be stacked or listed, connected with this commit. And I'll just show you a little more detail of kind of where that is. Remember, in our files here, we have uh, the .git folder. I'm, I'm inside of the .git folder right now. Um, just to kind of show you that, I'm inside of .git. Um, I probably should have mentioned that when I was uh, did that. Apologies. But anyway, um, and just, you know, I'll just go out here real quick. Um, that's in our book directory. You can do cd.git, and then you can do the cat ref slash head slash master. That's going to show you that. Um, but anyway, going back up to here, we see all these different folders inside of this refs folder. Um, so let's just go cd refs. We see the heads and the tags. Don't worry about the tags for now. Our heads go into the heads, and now we can see, oh, our master. Where does our master head point to? Because that's kind of what brand, or what repository we're in right now. We're in the master repository, and we're on our master branch. So, you know, this is where every, you know, it's our master. It's our default, kind of. And so, you know, we look into that, and boom, there's our current head file. So that's just in case, you know, you wanted to know about that. Um, I'm going to try to get out of here. There we go. Okay. So now, let me just clear. I'm in my book directory. Now what I want to do is let's add some files here. Let's kind of, you know, mess around with this. Now you'll see I actually added three, whoops, sorry. I added three new files, book one, book two, and book three. Um, what I actually did is I copied and pasted just book one and book two uh, and book three of the Odyssey by Homer. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for old Greek writings. Um, so I just copied and pasted each one of those books into a text file, and they're just sitting in this directory now. Now, um, what we can do is something called git status. Now, git status is going to show us the status of our current repository. So it says we're on branch master, our default kind of branch, and our untracked files. So it's saying book one, book two, and book three. It's saying, I, I you know, I'm, I'm not sure we have never seen these before. You know, those are kind of strange. Now, this is showing us what's in our writer's desk right now. Remember, we have not added any of these to the staging, to the outbox. We have not, add, you know, definitely these are not in our publisher, you know, in our repository. So these these three files are in our working, um, our writer's desk right now, our working directory. And we also see that new is not there because new is, it's in our publisher. It's with our repository, and we're not looking at it. It's it's nothing has changed with it. If we change something, it, it would show. Okay, you know, we got to change something now. But for right now, that's not true. So let's say I want to add book one. I would do git add book one. Now if I do git status. Now okay, here we go. So we're on branch master again. Changes to be committed new file book one so this is our outbox so what git is telling you is hey we've got one file in our mailbox ready to go off to the publisher and we've got two more files and they're untracked because we've never seen them before so i don't know if you want me to keep track of them or if you don't they're kind of brand new 
Um, so these brand new files are here and they're still on our writer's desk. They're not going to be committed. So right now I want to commit. So I'm going to say git commit dash m and I'm going to say added book one. Now when I click this, remember only what is in our staging index, only what's in the mailbox is going to be committed. These two files will not be committed. So like I said, one file changed 63 insertions because there were 63 lines of this uh, book one created book one. So now if I do get status, it's just going to show book two and book three. Our mailbox was emptied when we committed it. We sent off that, that package of information and we don't have that anymore. So now we just have book two and book three. Let's take a quick step out and kind of visually understand what we just did. Okay, so now let's talk about what what did we just do? Visually, what did we just do? Uh, and I'm gonna do this for the next couple of commits that we make. Uh, it might be annoying, I'm not gonna do it for long, but I just want you guys to understand really, you know, really visually understand what Git is doing. So we know we have the publisher, the outbox, and the writer's desk. And we're learning that a git add is going to take things from the writer's desk to the outbox. And a git commit takes our outbox to the publisher. We're also slowly remembering in the back of our head that these aren't the real names. We're just using this to help us out in learning git. We know that the publisher is actually the repository, the outbox is the staging index, and the writer's desk is the working index. Now eventually, like I said before, we're going to move towards calling them the repository, staging index, and working directory full time. But if we're in the beginning, we'll keep referring to them as the publisher, outbox, and writer's desk. Anyway, we had one new file called book one. Really we had three, but we're just focusing on book one for now. So we added book one by doing git add book one. Now that moved it from the writer's desk to the mailbox. We added it to our mailbox. Now our mailbox sees these individual files, but when we say git commit, we're committing our entire outbox. Whatever is in our outbox gets packaged up and sent to the publisher. So when we did git commit, it packaged up that file and sent it to the publisher. So now that's a commit that the publisher has. The publisher has a package to reference. We can't change that package. It's history now, and you know you can't rewrite history. But we can look at history. We can go back and we can read history. So that's kind of visually what we just did.